welcome to knowledge update channel during this particular video which is a part and series of itfg in as practical issues we are going to cover a very important issues which arises in consolidated financial statements in case of different accounting treatments has been followed by various entities how to deal with when you prepare consolidated financial statements the issue which is under consideration where a subsidiary company pqr limited it follows a straight line method of depreciation and the holding company mnc limited it follows wdv method for depreciating its property plan equipment so now in consolidated financial statements when we come into picture the financials of pqr limited are being line by line consolidated so what should be the treatment when you do consolidation right so how will this property plan equipments be depreciated in the consolidated financial statements of mnc limited prepared as per indias the most important thing is to look at indias 110 the consolidated financial statements shall be prepared using uniform accounting policy i think the most important thing the word uniform accounting policy in case if the accounting policies are not uniform between subsidiary associate and holding company then the appropriate adjustments are required to be made just to ensure that the accounting policies are uniform and the the financial statements are consulted after considering all accounting policies for the group as a one now the question comes that does that mean that we need to have a one accounting policy or one depreciation policy one depreciation method for the property plan equipment for holding subsidiary associate or all together let us look at indias 8 and in this 8 it says that the depreciation method shall be applied to an asset shall be reviewed at least at each financial year end and if there is a change in depreciation method it shall be accounted as a change in accounting estimate even when we look at the depreciation uh, meaning of depreciation it actually is nothing but the estimation of pattern of consumption of the property plan equipment or the asset so if the holding company or subsidiary company has a different accounting estimates they may have a different accounting method for depreciation so in the case selection of a method of depreciation is accounting estimate and not accounting policy so that makes it very clear that when you do consolidated financial statements at least for depreciation it is a being accounting estimate it is not accounting policy so if it is not accounting policy uniform accounting policy requirement is already fulfilled subsidiary can have slm basis and holding company can have a wdb method of depreciation because depreciation is provided based on estimation and uh, estimation is based on the expected pattern of consumption of the asset which can be different for each asset so with this object in mind i think if you do consolidations there is no need to worry about having a separate depreciation method in case of holding or subsidiary i am sure that this will be useful to each one of you when you implement in days and uh, let us stay connected subscribe to channel in case if you wish you want to be get updated thank you